So when you're working with multiple files in uh, NitroCell, typically you need to be able to kind of obtain a list of those as a starting point. And there's several ways to do this. Um, with the list files command, it, you know, we can actually come in and query within the working directory um, a specific list of uh, files to, to, to process. But the, the main thing we have to be very conscious about there is that list files is actually listing all the files. So it's not going to be limited to to uh, Creo specific um, uh, files and extensions, it's going to list everything. So if we come in here, we have this create table, which is going to create a, an empty table. And then we, um, uh, let's look at uh, list files for the table uh, application uh, command. By default, it's going to list all files and we're going to write that to my table. Now, when we run this, it's actually going to um, uh, query the working directory for all of the content that's out there. And you'll notice that it's brought back um, log files, Excel files, PRTs, and ASMs, um, which is great if that's what we want to be able to perform operations on, like zipping that content up or deleting log files or something like that. It's good to have that information there. But if we're going to be trying to open that as part of an automation process with Creo, um, it's going to fail uh, pretty quickly. So there is a couple ways around that. Um, you can actually say, I want to um, basket.prt. Uh, let's put that in as a specific file that we're interested in. And let's say maybe uh, screen.prt. So you can list files by listing them individually also, which will give you a specific list of things if you wanted to. Uh, another nice thing you could do is just say, I'm looking for all my PRTs and maybe all my ASMs. And the, the beauty about this is that every time you run this, um, you can put these different filters in and it will kind of build up that list so you can control the sequence of, of how things are going to be processed also. So if we wanted the assembly to be processed last, uh, we could do that, or we could flip it around and make it, make it first in the list uh, just by um, changing the sequence of how things are, are being written to that table. So um, as you'll see here, now we have the assembly as the first thing that will be processed. Um, once you have that list kind of there, you can then, of course, use this to, let's say, open content using the table variation of this command. And we'll just reference uh, my table in this case, which is the table that currently contains that content. And now every time we come in and um, run this, it's it's actually going to go perform the listing of that operation. Uh, and then um, it's going to then open each of those items into memory. So if we look in session, now we have all of that content there.